on the sidelines of the Sustainable Blue Economy Conference last week. In the small corner in one of the exhibition tents was a display by a 72-year-old man. And at 72, his display was a little bit different from the other. But his age was not the most surprising or outstanding aspect. That distinction was taken by the substance of his ideas. Lebanon Muchuma is a self-taught engineer with revolutionary ideas. Ideas so simple as to be instantly applicable, but unique enough to have never been done anywhere else in the world. And his local and international patents prove that. His ideas mainly revolve around water transport, which is why he was involved with the Sustainable Blue Economy Conference. So what has he been able to invent? I started by trying to, 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 to cycle and take motion directly underneath the boat. And then I came and found that the existing boats, uh, the cycling is synchronized. So I came and find out that independent cycling also nobody has ever thought about it. You go your speed, let me go my speed. You can even stop, I can go alone and you can again join me. Immediately after that, and then I also came and, and I saw to it that if I am able to cycle and rotate the propeller in water, see, it can also do the same in the air. Because if the air is making the plane to fly, the same air should be able to push the boat on water. And then I came up, uh, I came and found that the gear I had developed has the capabilities of doing that. I can now take the motion upwards and I can propel the air. So in one innovation, I found out that I, I have created about four sports. Single cycling, water propulsion, double cycling, water propulsion. Single cycling, air propulsion, double cycling, water propulsion. I then moved forward that the same mechanism, if it is linked on solar, a motor that is powered by solar, so it will just do the same job. Then I moved forward and said, okay, the same invention now, if we blow it up with mathematics, we can have a big vessel, but now using propellers, but they should be at the back. He outlines the process of invention that led to several different spin-offs, drawing examples and inspiration from giants such as Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Motor Company, and Mikhail Kalashnikov, the inventor of the AK-47 rifle as well as the biblical story of King David. You have to address the following. First of all, it should be something that is useful to man on this part of the world. Secondly, you should have had what we may call inventive steps. How did you start and how did you arrive to the results? Thirdly, it should be something that is industrially applicable. Now, uh, you try to come up like Ford and uh, Alexander Kaloshinkov. What I have noticed for all this time, I've been trying to do research, is that first of all, you identify a problem that you think is affecting the life of man. If that problem is addressed, then man's life will be simple. The engineer has a special philosophy influencing his work, a principle that he believes enables him to be authentic and original. I have first of all developed a doctrine known as Theophy Lyons, comprising science, philosophy and theology. Many people do not know that the way we make the computers and program them, man also has been programmed of what he can do and what he cannot do. And that is why when somebody is doing something, you go there, you find it is not something you can even attempt. And to him, it is just, he's just joking. Um, it, is, it is through that, that you can always come up with what we call originality. If you are trying to steal what other people have done, that is what we call reverse engineering. Originality can only come from the manufacturer of a human being, and the manufacturer is God. 
he did already the program. He already finished what you have to do. He only created you to come and accomplish. He believes that every inventor must strive to identify gaps in the existing technology and its use and be able to exploit those gaps to improve on the lives of others. He hopes that his inventions will be able to sort out many of the country's problems, be able to generate income and create jobs, even as the inventions introduce Kenyans to an entirely new way of work and play. As experienced by most inventors, funding is a major challenge. And to a large extent, this lack influences the pace of his research and development. And even through thick and thin, I passed through, especially through funding, and I've stuck on these innovations of mine. It is because they are the only one worldwide. And uh, the way you know, uh, Victor, if a lady is delivering and maybe the child, the head has come out, how does she invite another lady to push, to help her to push? The other lady can only pull, but nobody can help her to push. She has to do it herself. So that is why um, I have the passion on this, uh, on this innovation to making sure that if the idea came from God, then God wants me to take this message to Nineveh. And I'm not yet in Nineveh. So this message should not just die on the way until it has reached the people that were supposed to receive the message. At a time when his peers are enjoying their retirement, gazing contentedly on their family and accomplishments, the ideas in Lebanon Muchuma's mind and the passion and dedication to achieve his purpose continue to drive him despite the difficulties.